Here we go, guys. The first game between Warrior Gaming Unity and Clutch Gamers. I'm gonna get some damage onto the man. He's just gonna get, try and get behind the trees. Pick your target perfectly because the tag team is about to get leveled on up. Oh, he cornered himself into his own grave. The install does give him some speed, but with the spin, first blood comes out for Warrior Gaming Unity. Actually, Grimshaw Barry. Oh, God. The same thing again. Tag Team Crush and all the damage coming in. Barry gets crushed into the ground. He'll be fighting in the bottom lane. It's Rune Time and Tiny actually arrived to party. The is coming in, but the Avalanche is there. Actually gets the Rune. Yes, he does. Nice moves from Tiny, but actually going to be focused down Ogre. They've got the treat. They smack down the big man. They hit him between his heads, and they've got to maybe take him out with a couple of right clicks. Yes, Tons of Kills with nice little shards coming out, but they will get one Rune. They don't get the other. Felix, moving on forward, they find Barry, but he just gets in. Swell turns it the other way, the snowball can be used to dodge, and there you go, no stun for you, but it just gets stunned on the Barry. Alacrity is coming on in, they do get stunned on the side, but Mozan is doing some damage. In fact, they need stun control, but they might lose Barry to one charges. Baits it out, the well blades come out, and they kill Tusk. My question. They got a TP on in. They can actually rotate onto him. They get some bottle charges to refill, but here comes them. They're going to pick up Tusk, try and put him down, set him up as well. The charges are there and perfectly timed. They've got Rubik in a good position there. Tiny wants to actually get him out of the avalanche and the snowball. More control than the magic man. They should have the damage. With the stuns coming out on the backside, they will get Tusk in return, but Rubik will die. Tiny is on the town. They're going to be dragging back in the line. Getting two kills at least in return. They've got the line. They might get the Tiny. Three stacks of Napalm with the Tusk in the back. They do take Ogre with him. But they get three. Candy Loon recovers with a killing spree. So it is 10-5. So far, it's 9 minutes and 25 seconds in. We're fighting in a bit. We're going to find ourselves a lion. But can we get a kill? Velo actually dives under town. Gets a barry again. But now just chasing down Velo. He does have a stun for a couple of seconds. Just waiting it out. Two seconds. Can he hit all three? He's just going to get zoned back. They just run away from him. And the damage comes in. Sliver and Crush does land, but doesn't do much more than that. They get double kill coming out from there. But they do trade. But they're pushing two lanes at once. So we need to respond to one of them. In fact, we're going to respond to the top and find out Velo gets soul by getting Sans. He's going to be trying to take away the Phantom, but Alacrity with the Inksol does get stunned a lot. He's going to commit for this, though. This stun comes in, but they need more damage. The anti armor is out of a couple more right clicks. Should do it, but already taking Darren to mid and a dive on through. Another little stun coming out from Velo, but they need a stroke of fate. They do get it with Alacrity. But they're trading towers and now they're actually trading lives. They're going to try and get Tusk again if they can. Candy Loot's diving on in. Three sacked on and he's gone. Moving. Moving. Getting ready. Avalanche controlled Toss back in the town. He's actually going to take a whole ton of chance out, but the snowball stolen actually dodges the crush. He does get hazed up and now Barrider's here just going to be dragging away the slaughter. Now they're going to keep on fighting. They pick him up, stun him down, put him down. He's already gone. Ogre does get tossed in the air, but doesn't do any damage. And Ogre looks to stun up the tiny, but on the backside, Alacrity's made his way down too. Lion's going to TP in, but they might need a little bit more of there. He needs a perfect earth spike out. Who does he hit? He hits absolutely nobody. He's just going to get the swarm on him and just go for baby bat right, but they've got the tag team at least. They should be able to control down Candy Loon, but the Hex is there. The damage comes out. Lion is dead. Tusk is going to be dead too, but it's noble. Bill right onto Bat Rider and maybe with one punch if he can do it. No, he's level five. Can't do it. Doesn't have to be building, but Bat Rider will go down to the Avalon. At least Tusk does go down too. They get Ogre in the back. Nothing to say. He's trying to clean up this game. But Juggernaut not going to join this fight. They're going to pick him up. Put him back down. And Weaver just going to keep on diving under town. Pops out one. Just commits for this kill. He wants his Gucci to one charge. Goes on to Tiny. Just keeping this fight going for so long. The so taking the jukes. Can't keep him alive forever. And they finally take the man down. They're just walking with the smoke. Trying to get somebody off guard. Then a little bit of a trick play here. In fact, they walk behind the ward vision. So they won't see it. They won't know what's up. Batrider is big. They can find the blink dagger reveal on the tiny. They find the punch in the air. They've already lost him. Maybe they can get Ogre in the back. Can they find anybody else? Slider's coming in too. Does he have a blink? No, just phase boots and the Vlads. But the dust comes out a little bit too early. Can't find Weaver, but Kang doesn't care about that. He wants to commit for this kill. He's charging him full with the sun. It's absolutely nobody, but Weaver wasn't even there. Just in case Weaver was there to seal the room, but he doesn't want to do it. Velo wants his kill. He's moving pretty fast in the river. The Courier was baited out. They've got a cross phase onto him now. But the Courier could go down for one right quick. Alacrity doesn't want to actually take it. But the Omnisite going to find him. He runs all back. And they've found him. They waited out of the timeout's position. This stance is so awkward. But they throw Tusk on. They punch him from the air. They can still got mana. But the finger can't snap Bug down. He's the real Bug Zapper. Just going to keep it going. But that rider actually coming through. Barry's in the back soon. Trying to feel it. They've got the soul bite on too. Long zoom, but they can be dragging back at Tusk at least. All the damage coming out for Barry. Right click does land on him. And now Felix goes down to Spinnaker and Loon. 
now. Did they actually get over as well? Maybe Candle wants to take something big if he can. They want to prevent this Roche but he's got Chorus Vase on him. There's so much damage going out for Donnie. Just toss Slider onto him. He should have a stun. It does land the right place with the Avalanche and all that damage coming out from WG Unit. Gives him another kill. That's three for a ton. They just get to, you know, witness it. It's not as good, but maybe nothing the same on by himself. He's going to get stunned up. Picked up, dragged on back to the high ground, just trying to keep him there. And there, he actually is stuck there, but he does have reinforcements in the back. Nothing to say, he doesn't really care anymore. The DD's not doing much, but the Snowball will save him and actually go back on the Bat Rider. Gonna pop that shrine, no, he's gonna have to heal enough, and the damage will come on him, but can they actually do anything? The Omni Sash is on the backside, Tiny doesn't even care anymore, just takes out the Ogre, they punch him in the air. And now, Alacrity. Whew, running on out, can't do anything before this Weaver. Oh, they're aiming to stun. They might not get it, but nothing to say. Chops his line onto him, gets the hex. They need more stuns. Hey, Barry died again, but so did Alacrity. Come on, Barrado tossing to Velo, getting that damage with nothing to say again. Double kill. Barry dies, Barrado dies. Ogre, I think we know this spoiler. He's going to die too. Two hits. Oh, boy. Tiny's just running at everybody. Bellows air, corrosive haze. He does steal the Omni Slash, so he's doing absolutely nothing. He does nothing. He gets tossed in the air, stunned down. He's dead too. He's had a bad history this game. He's up to how many deaths? Seven deaths. Oh, Bellows found Barry again. He's just a magnet for these stuns, but straight on the backside, they do actually kick down Kenny Loon. He's gone as well. Mizun. Barry does make it out this time. Barry survives. Hey, that's the game looking up, but Ogre's not going to. Oh, unless you get the one charge off, he's all good to go. Oh, finger on the Barry. Not enough to take him out, but one more slap comes on. Candy Loon's dead too. This might be when you throw in the towel. I, oh, I don't know what Crunch Gamers do right now. They do party on the side of Wing Gaming... <laughs> Warriors Gaming Unity. God damn it, Wings Gaming. He didn't win TI6. But more corrosive haze, more parties. Everyone wants to join in. In fact, he's going to raise the roof by throwing Ogre into the roof. Rubik gets spun up with the Yule Scepter. It's going to get snowball more damage from now. Rubik's dead too. Black Rudy is going to be running back. with nice and stun. Good game is finally called. And they punch the bug. They squash that bug. And they squash Clutch Game. It's chances of taking game one by giving the game to WG Unity. This is game two for Warriors Gamer Unity versus Clutch Gamers. I don't think you're really scared about this. Top lane, there you go. Frost killed onto Jug. More damage in spell on the Velo. Will run out. There you go. The boss is spinning. The sun comes down. The first spot actually lands onto Alacrity. Velo survives. He just keeps up. He's even with Jug. He's currently got 19, while Sardis got 15. Not the biggest difference in numbers, but nice little frost shield does come out again. Can he act? Oh, Slivering Crush used early. This could be his death. He runs back in. He knows he's nice. He can't actually dodge the spin this time. 23 last hit, 6 denies him. Grimstroke getting his own. Blast does come out from him. Alacrity might even try for him. Does get the Intel coming out. The frost shield is on down the spin. Just make sure he does get stunned, but you're going to have to commit for this. You need one health of crit, and you should be able to get it. And yep, Felix gets cut down, but the other side, side is just focusing on him. They've brought Barry in to help out with Velo. One charge being used early. They do get a nice little stun on the Mozart with a nice crush as well. Lich Marco down. The Fairy Fire does come in to save his life. Another little blast down slow. And the heal coming out from the healing ward. They're holding. Velo back, but they've got fields on the other side. Snowball, and they bring in Jug. Velo still running, might survive, will survive. And the other side, Lich being chased down by Felix. The stroke of fate, four seconds away, needs to be able to aim it, needs to be able to target out, but Frost Shield will not save his life. Felix just running away from the spin off Jug. This side, Barry's coming in for this one with the tag team. They should have the amp up damage with it. And one more right click, one big crit from Alacrity. Needs to come on in, he's spinning around, trying to get away. But Barry just chasing out these jukes. From the Grim, he finds him, but he wants to give the kill to Jug. In fact, they might not get the kill at all. Another Inkswell, another run away, and Clutch Gamers get nothing. Lich is actually getting run down. They're actually going to get the Tombstone from Kang and try and commit on Zell. But they've got to remember, Omni Slash doesn't have the mana for it. Can't actually boot, change your boots to get some more mana for it too. He's been cut down by Tusk, but actually going to be dragged by the Grimstroke. And nice shards coming out from Barry. Gets another. Now Kang on the tower, try and go for Lich, but the zombies just surrounding him. The Frost Shield will keep him there at least. Two runes for him. They actually do pressure with Mozart. They will find Kang in the back, but all good shards might leave Kang alive. No, he does get the last hit off. And they lose him, and Belly just going to be running it back from Barry. Kind of whittled down a little bit with the nice little corrosive breath from Dragonite, but top lane went some more action. Velo getting pulled back in. They do get the tag team, and the damage comes out. They get themselves Kang. They get themselves Slider. A double kill coming out for Clunch Gamers. Seems to be Sandy. 
Dive on in there, found himself TA, Snowball, everything, Tombstone, not too much, Jack just one gold, two Dragon Knight, I think, no, Chug does take it, but they get a big kill enough to say, Clutch Gamers is actually just getting the kills they want, getting the rotation. But Anti Mage might get focused down. Grimstroke is on the sidelines. They've even got Undying. There we go. Soulbound goes up, but he's silenced. He can't jump to the orb. Puff just going to get surrounded. Candy Woman is dead in the bottom there. And they can jump for more if they want. Barry. Dive comes down. The Electric is doing some damage. Going to spin away. Should be fine. They lose the town, but they do at least get the tower. Actually, they had two towers on WG. Mercury tanks the top tower. And maybe they can pressure the tier 2 on the bottom, but the Dragon Form's about to run out, so you don't get much more use out of it. But here we go, mid. They're going to find themselves a TA. They need more vision. The Dust is going to help them with that. And the Omni Slash seals it off. Well, I appreciate it. There is a fight for him in the side. Bam straight up. All right. That's a weird fan to say, but here you go. Chainfall's bouncing between Roche and everybody else. They do get the old group, but Velga for something actually going to get punched on up. And then Mosin gets something them up too, gets Fank on through. Now Mercury's fighting on the backside. They do buy back on Sider instantly, just trying to focus down Dragonite. Now Lich TP's on back in. Where did say? They actually get the Mana Void back in the Candle Loon. He's gone too, but he only starts bouncing in between anybody. Can he get another kill though? They're going to spin off and maybe get King on the back. Maybe get nothing to say. That's a double kill, but no, they can't do it. Three people going down, two buybacks. But they want this man. They actually jump on in. Mercury wants to go for Mosin. They're going to fly on through. The Frost Shield can't stop them from doing too much. And one right click should do it. They can blink on in and get that kill on one side. And now with the other, the Snowball will land onto TA. But they can't get the damage out. And with the bash from Slana, we get the team wipe. Actually, we can find ourselves Lich again. All plays through the backside if you don't want to commit for that. Just leave your Lich. He does send us the games, but he's dead anyway. Okay, I'm just going to get him through. It's okay. They get, might find Candy Loon again. That's a big kill to get it. Sans comes out of the anti mage, but they're going to be draining the mana away. But they get, need some more control. Does Slaughter kill him? Does miss the stun, but the mana void almost clears them out. They do lose the courier for this. That's big, but they are making space. Lacrity well, just making space on the tier 2 tower in the bottom lane. But it's a top that they're going to take as well. Both towers are getting pressure, but they actually want to go for Alacrity if they can. They need a bash. Four hits need to come in. We're up to three, and here's a four. Stun comes out. Slivering Crust. Silence out, and he's dead too. Alacrity changes his life. They get the tower as well in the top. They don't get the tower in the bottom. The sound push, and now you can go for the tier three. Just cut down these creeps. Maybe we get this pressure well. Dragonite's waiting though. They could try something, but Tombstone is down already. Tier 3 is going. Dragonite's getting ready to go in. Velo with a very awkward stun goes on the illusion, and the bait is just getting taken. Omni Slash onto everybody. Bit of refraction action dodging most of them. Damage on the back. They're going to silence him up and actually focus down Anti Mage, and he does get the blink away just, but they need to follow him through. The Snowball will not make it. The Chancer off the mark, but they do punch up Grinstroke into the air. And we're going to focus down Grinstroke on one side, but on the back side, they want to get TA as well. They're going to bring back in Velo, who's just stunning up and making so much move. Just keeping them all back. They lo will lose TA eventually from the damage coming out from Clutch Gamers, but everybody else makes it out. But it's not too bad. It's only a 10k gold lead. There's your being popped by on Dying. They're going to jump through. Actually, stun a puck, and he's gone. Mercury takes him out on the back. So I'm actually going to find Barry as well. Desolate the Snowball just going to be landing on TA, and they just wait. It's a waiting game. Who cares? Punch TA, but you're dead anyway. Jumping on through, Valley wants another kill as well. Can he get the stun? They do get the counter spell off a little bit too early. But jumping back, so they actually keep a jug back and focus on anti mage just diving onto the Lich. A triple kill for Mercury. They're coming. They get a Dream Call on the two. Dice with the counter spell coming out, so nothing else will come out. They do Mantra off the throat phase, and that is a pretty down on anti mage. He does Mantra off the most of the damage, he does blink for one in the end, but they will get TA at least. But there's your double silence coming out, but they've already got the tier 3 and they can just back off. Grimstroke wants to survive, they do get a Glimkev off, but there's already a sentry there. So this should be a second kill, at least for the friends. TA stun up, they're gonna find on the ink spot comes up, but Soulbite onto 2, so we'll actually control down TA, TA has got cheese, can eat it in the end. They've already lost Alacrity on one side, but TA is ready to eat that cheese when they need to. Mozon getting control too, same with question mark, they've already lost 3, now they've lost 4, and then the 5th. His Buck does dodge the sun there, but Lilo is gonna be falling him into wherever he goes. Misses again to try to get the TP off, but can he get the bash? One, two, three, and four. Oh, the corrosive haze in between. And Dragonite while they push the tier three. Damage for him. Just going to keep on pushing forward. They actually get the sun coming out with Dragonite. Actually getting that snowball. Does land on. Just going to go straight to Velo. Finish the punch around. Dragon Breath does come in. They get the damage. Nice moves coming out. Barry's actually going to in control. And he's going to be stuck in the face. Total spawnage, people. Just diving in his face. There's Lich going to spawn you. Mercury battle. Another kill. That's another team wipe. GG is called end. Clutch Gamers runs out. That's going to be WG Unity taking a 2-0 against Clutch Gamers here.
new squads kind of don't always gel together too quickly, so I think Clutch Gamers need a few more games to actually get everything to come together. 